All right, so problem number two will be a rigid body problem where uh, we can't assume it's particle. These forces are not acting at the same point. These are, um, there will be moments. I need to sum the moments, all right? So here, let's determine the horizontal and vertical components of the direction on the beam caused by uh, the pin at B and the rocker at A neglect the weight of the beam. Uh, and I may go ahead and, and tell you, draw, draw the free body diagram. All right, sometimes you can just kind of draw on top here. Sometimes uh, you just redraw your free body diagram. I think I'll just draw on top of here. All right, so for this class, for Fundamentals of Engineering Mechanics, I really want you to, to only know um, pins, rockers, rollers, um, ropes and links, yes, uh, and fixed supports. Um, but the slots and the collars, I don't think they're too bad, and I definitely always test my statics class on that, but uh, don't get too um, down, too far down the road with um, collars and slots. Um, I want you all to focus on pins and rockers and rollers. All right, so rockers would only have a force perpendicular to the surface, right? Only have an AY. There's nothing restricting its movement left or right, but it is restricting it from going down, digging down in there, so it is, um, does have an AY right here. Uh, pins have both a BY and a BX, or at least can. They can have both a BY and a BX. And then that right there would be a good free body diagram, except for uh, axes. I need some axes. Um, unless everything is inclined, unless everything is, you know, according to different axes, then I think you should uh, define, you know, your usual X and Y. So there's my free body diagram right there. Make your free body diagram self-sufficient. And, you know, I'm drawing on top of it, so... Uh, the dimensions and all the forces are here. Um, but if you're redrawing it, make sure you include everything. Make it self-sufficient. All right, so this is in equilibrium. So I know that the sum of the forces in X is equal to zero. The sum of the forces in Y is equal to zero. And the sum of the moments is equal to zero. So summing the forces in the X direction uh, would be what? What is in the X direction? Uh, right here, this 600... Uh, cosine 45 is in the x direction bx is in the x direction i think that's it now it's set that equal to zero and, and what would we get we would get bx is negative 424.23 newtons negative 424 negative 424.3 Newtons. What does that negative mean? That negative just means I drew, I guessed the wrong direction. I guessed it was to the right. It is actually to the left. What do I want you to do? I want you to change it to positive 424.3 newtons, box that in, and then come back here and show me that it was actually to the left. Now, I prefer you not to erase it completely uh, because then I wouldn't know that you had guessed the wrong way to begin with. I want to know what you guessed to begin with. So kind of draw a little squiggly, but make sure that you have it the correct direction because this is what I'm looking for. I'm looking for the magnitude of 424.3. Then I'm going back to your free body diagram and, and to see if you drew it the, the correct direction. If you had drawn it left to begin with, then your answer would have come out positive. Do you see how we're all coming back and we're all ending up with the same answer? Positive 424.3 drawn to the left. Positive 424.3 drawn to the left. That's what I want you to do with negative answers right here. Okay, so now summing the forces in the y direction. I've got a y. Then I've got this component right here, 600 uh, times sine 45 uh, down, let's see, 100 down, 200 plus b y equals zero. Uh, if that only had one unknown in that equation, I would solve for it, but it has two unknowns, so let me jump to my next equation. Let me sum the moments. Uh, which point do you want to sum the moments about? Uh, in general, I like to kind of sum the moments about 
the point that more most of the unknowns go through, right? Because when you sum the moments about a point that they go through, then they don't contribute to the moment. There's no moment arm. There's no rotation. Uh, so I'm going to sum my moments about point B right here. And BX goes straight through it. BY goes straight through it. 200 goes straight through it. All three of those are not going to show up in my equation. Then I've got a few that will show up in my moment equation. So let me... Let, let's look carefully here. Let's look carefully here. Um, BX and BY go straight through that point. Do you see the middle of the pin? BX and BY go straight through that point. And so that's the point that I'm going to sum the moments about. So uh, let's start with this AY. It is, what is its perpendicular distance away? 3, 2, 2, right? 7, uh, meters away, creating a clockwise rotation. Uh, I'm probably going to define some some moments about B. I'm going to define uh, counterclockwise as positive. So my first moment would be A Y seven meters away, creating a negative moment. So negative A Y times seven. Okay. Uh, how about this component right here? Six hundred. Um, sine 45 is acting, what is its perpendicular distance away? Perpendicular to this line of action, perpendicular to that line would be this distance of 5, so it would be 5 meters away, creating a, so, so this is pointed down, that's why I drew this one down, uh, creating a counterclockwise, so positive moment. Now, many, many, many times this component down here, the 600 uh, cosine 45, goes straight through the point that I'm interested in. Uh, but if you ever see, do you, do you see right there? That's kind of a red flag. They gave me that uh, kind of thickness right here, uh, 0.2. Uh, so do you see that this 600 cosine 45 is actually not acting, it's acting above here. Uh, it does create a moment. Maybe not very significant, but it does create a moment. So in addition to the 600 sine 45 times a moment arm of 5, I have the 600 cosine 45 times a very small moment arm, but it matters, of 0.2, creating a positive or negative. So would this be clockwise or counterclockwise? Um, maybe maybe put a bar right here, see which way the bar rotates. Maybe a piece of string right here, see which way the string rotates. Or we can draw this anywhere on its line of action. What type of rotation would that cause? Clockwise, so that one would be a negative. That one would be a negative moment. All right? That was a tough one. But do you see why that component in it? We already did this one times its moment arm of 5. Now we do this one times its little moment arm of 0.2, creating a negative moment. Then 100 newtons times its moment arm of 2, creating a positive moment equals 0. And this equation right here only has one unknown. Solve for AY, right? Bring that over. Bring all these over. Divide through by 7. Be careful with your positives and negatives. I would get AY to be, let's see, 319. I would get AY to be 319. Now, if it had come out negative, that means you were to guess wrong, but I could not have guessed wrong with AY. It, it cannot be pulling, right? That's a rocker. It's not a magnet. It doesn't have any sticky thing that's pulling it. If, you know, it can only touch, you can only push it right there. All right. Now I can, yeah, now I can just plug that back up right here and get a BY. A BY would be 405 newtons. BY would be 405 newtons. So that, let's take a step back and look. Um, we kind of needed a free body diagram. I drew on top of this, but sometimes you might want to create a new, draw your own free body diagram. And then sum the forces in X 
equals zero, some force in y equals zero, some in moments equals zero. If something comes out negative, then go back to your free body diagram and draw it the correct way, right? Make it positive. Go back to your free body diagram and draw it the correct way. Um, know how to do pins, rockers. Know how to do fixed supports. Fixed supports have a moment there. So if, if something was fixed on your free body diagram, you, you would need to draw like an AY, an AX, and a possible MA. Um, whereas at pins, we don't draw like an MB or an MA right here because they don't have reaction moments. Um, and I think that moment equation is, is the hardest one. Just look at all these problems and make sure you can sum the moments about a certain point equals zero. Uh, you could have summed your moments about A. Maybe, maybe double check this one. Let's, what would happen if you sum your moments about A? Hopefully you would get BY equal to 405 and then you'd plug that big back in up here and you'd get AY is 319. We, we'd get the, the same answers, okay? So look back at those. Look back at um, uh, ropes and uh, forces in uh, spring, um, things like that, okay? All right.